Hello, everybody. Let me know if y'all can hear me good before we get started. One second. I'm just going to let everybody join on in. I'm sorry if y'all can hear me snacking, but these are so good. I can't put them down. And they're sticking to my teeth. Let me know down in the comments if y'all can hear me before we get started. Mm. Hi, how are you? I'm eating these candies. They're keto approved and they're so good. I usually don't like candy. I'm not a big candy person, but these are really good. Okay, good. You can hear me. These are by Shameless Snacks. And I've never tried the flavor before. I barely have tried them in my last box with my subscription for Keto Crate. They gave me a different flavor, but this red raspberry flavor is super good. I really like them. And they're only 70 calories a bag, and they are keto approved. Yeah, I'm not a candy person either, but usually I'm not a sour kind of person, but they're actually not sour. They're pretty sweet. But they're super good. Look. They kind of resemble like a Sour Patch Kid in a way. What? That's not working? Yeah. Yeah, and then. No, it isn't. My time I put off there. Let me check it. Yeah, okay, so can y'all hear me right now? Um, I think my internet was having a little bit of issue right now. Of course, when I jump on live. Let me know if you can still see me or hear me. Okay, I had to restart my internet thing. So before we proceed, let me know if y'all can hear me and see me. Yeah, I'm gonna let it um, let it readjust a little bit. I don't know, my internet, I don't 
know what has been going on with the internet in my area but for some reason it keeps like going down and up like shutting down and going on again so right now it had shut down so hopefully everything is going back up right now so let me know if y'all can see me good before we get started because i don't want to proceed and it's going to be like blurry I'm going to go ahead and start my Blackstone. So we're clicking on the Blackstone tonight. Um, we're going to be making some like low carb Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. And I like to make these in my Blackstone. This is an electric Blackstone because I know I get that question asked a lot. As if, um, how do I cook with my Blackstone inside? <laughs> but it's actually electric. And... It detaches from a rolling cart also. So I have a rolling cart for it, but you can also put it on your countertop. So um, we're gonna go ahead and cook on this tonight. Okay, good. But we're gonna be making some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. I have these low carb buns. They're keto approved. These sandwiches are gonna be keto approved, low carb. Um, these are the superior keto buns. I actually really like these. Okay, hopefully it adjusts more. I really like these buns. I'm a big Sola person. I love the Sola brand, but their buns and like hot dog, their burger buns and their hot dog buns are a little bit more dense. Not bad at all. These are just a little bit more softer. So I like to reach for these. I get these at HEB. You can also find them at Walmart. Oh no. I don't know what is up with my my internet right now. Yes, they're really good. Um, these are 70 calories a bun, I believe. Yes, and then three net carbs each bun. And I love them. So these are the buns that we're going to go in with since I am making like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Um, they usually don't sell like a longer kind of bun um so that's why i like to just replace it with a hamburger bun or you can go in with the hot dog bun buns it all just depends on you okay good because my internet i'm sorry you guys my internet like went down of course as soon as i pushed live my internet like messed up a little bit for a second there so i'm glad it's better okay that's good okay so we're going in with these superior keto buns delicious i got these at kroger Kroger, but you can find them at Walmart or HEB as well, I believe. So we're going to go on with that. And then I like to buy this shaved meat already from HEB, but whatever kind of steak that you would like to use for your Philly cheesesteaks, it's up to you. I just like these. They're portioned out and they're thinly sliced already. And they were, they're for the frozen section, but I absolutely love this. This doesn't have like a weird texture or anything even like because usually I'm kind of iffy with like frozen meat but this one is really good. So it's just some sirloin beef so you can get some sirloin steaks um, and you can slice it yourself if you would like to. A little tip before you do slice it you want to freeze them and then you can slice it better and you'll have like a thinly sliced steak or just really craving these and I thought it would be a little simple dinner that y'all can go ahead and make for your family during the week just a simple idea so if you don't want to go because I know a lot some people would like to stay away from like products like this like the the bun replacements and stuff so another idea that you can do you can make a Philly cheesesteak bowl that's usually another idea that I do do so I take like some cauliflower rice I'll put it at the bottom and then I'll just put it on top my Philly meat and the bell peppers and the cheese or if you're doing low calorie you can do white rice so it all just depends on you but that's another idea that I love to do so we're gonna go ahead and start slicing up our bell peppers I got me some new cutting boards I've been needing some new cutting boards and I love them very nice and big and I've been changing all my like Slowly, I've been changing, as y'all can see, I love black appliances, so I've been changing everything to black. Oh, barbecue pork sandwiches. Those are good. So what are you using for the bun? I actually was wanting some pork sandwiches as well. Some barbecue sandwiches. I've been craving some barbecue too. 
I went ahead and rinsed my bell peppers. So I'm just going to slice up a red bell pepper. Um, I've been wanting to make some barbecue. Uh, I'm hoping the weather, the weather gets a little bit better. I don't know. It's been pretty, but in the morning it's still cold. And I just want some nice sunny weather. I cannot wait for spring weather so I can go out there and barbecue, make some meals. <laughs> make a make. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking. Okay, so I'm gonna thinly slice our bell peppers. So yeah, I can't wait for the spring weather so I can make some uh, meals on the pit. I don't barbecue a lot, but I really wanted to start barbecuing some more, more often. Just to make different stuff. Where'd you get the cutting board? I got it from Kroger. Actually, I know a lot of people don't have Kroger. Um, but in my area, we have like a bigger Kroger and they sell appliances there. And I like to catch them when they go on sale. So these caught my eye. They were like buy one, get one 50% off, I believe. And I really liked them, so I grabbed them. But I'm pretty sure you can find some, if you don't have a Kroger near you that sells stuff like that, I'm pretty sure you can find some on Amazon. I've seen plenty of black cutting boards on Amazon. Um, these were just in person, so I grabbed them. I'm going to go ahead and put my bell peppers to the side. Yeah, they're really nice. I like them. Because I needed some updated ones. My other ones were like... They were white, and you know how after a while you cut on them so much, they kind of like stain on there. That's pretty much what they were doing, like no matter how much I washed them. Um, so I needed some new ones. I'm going to go in with the green bell pepper too, so I'm going to go ahead and slice this up. I didn't get to go live last week, you guys. I apologize. I got really sick. I actually had got sick with COVID. It was, it was terrible. So, just jumping back on the lives. Um, so, y'all can catch me every Tuesday here live. Um, I just like to jump on here, chit chat with y'all, cook up some meals. And then every Wednesday, I usually go live on TikTok, which would be tomorrow. So, if y'all want to see more lives, you want to see more recipes live, you can catch me there too. changed my live time it was supposed to be 7 30 but I've been I changed it to 7 just to make it a little bit earlier for me because it's during the week and I have my my boys like for school and things like that so I changed it to 7 so hopefully people could um see the time change thank you yeah I'm feeling better it didn't it was bad but it was kind of quick like it lasted like four days maybe I say I was pretty bad about two of those days. It was terrible. But I got through it. Yeah, I can show you right now. So right now I'm slicing up a red bell pepper, green bell pepper. I'm going to slice up some onion. This is the steak that I'm going in with. It's just some frozen sirloin beef steak. It's already thinly sliced. If you can't find something like this, um, you can just slice up some sirloin steak and that'll be good. Sorry you got sick, but glad. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. It was, it was, it was terrible. I don't really get sick, but when I do get sick, it's pretty bad. I love your hair. Thank you. I'm actually, I've been growing. This is my natural hair. I've been growing it out. These are fake things. <laughs> I'll jump over here and tell you all that. Okay, we're gonna slice up some onion. So yeah, I was sick for a little bit, um, so I wasn't able. You know, usually when I'm like feeling sick or feeling down, I usually still push through and I usually get everything that I'm supposed to be, you know, wanting to get done. I usually still am able to, but this last time when I actually had got COVID, I couldn't do nothing. Like I was so tired. I was so exhausted. I had fever. It was just, I couldn't do anything. Usually I'm able to push through and just do everything. I couldn't do it. I had no energy. I'm just thinly slicing my onions as well. I'll put those to the side. 
You can add some mushrooms to this. I was going to add some mushrooms to it, but I left them out this time. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people, I, a lot of people, I change up my hair a lot, but this is actually my natural hair. I've been growing it out, but I just, I just added some bangs. Um, cause I wear a lot of like ponytail extensions. I don't know if y'all remember, but when I had my hair platinum, um, I lost a lot of hair cause it was very damaging. So I started buying like ponytail extensions and hair extensions and things like that. So I've actually been growing out my hair over the year and it's grown a good amount. So now I'm actually able to wear it down and not feel like I have no hair. <laughs> I'm actually able to wear it down and feel good about it. Okay, we got everything sliced up. Now my... My uh, black stone is heating through over here. It should be pretty hot already. And the first, oh, the, the only thing, see, I love this black stone, but it is electric. So sometimes you got to play around with like the temperatures because sometimes it'll like cook really high and then it'll go, you know how electric is if you do have electric, it's like up and down with the heat. Oh, yeah, I know. Ray is always calling out my hair. We'll be, like, in the store, right? And some ladies or anybody will compliment my hair. They'll be like, oh, your hair's so pretty because I have, like, that long ponytail that I wear a lot that I absolutely love. And if Ray's with me, he'd be like, it's fake. And they're like, <laughs> he's so bad. I'm like, shut up. I'm telling everybody and they just laugh. I'm going to add a little oil because we're going to go ahead and lay down our steaks. So I like these steaks too, so like if you're meal prepping, it's already portioned in like packages or like little, not packages, but like little portion sizes. But I'm just going to make all of it. He is, he is such a hater. And he has no hair. He probably hears me. He's over there. He got off of work earlier, you guys, so he was uh, showering. He'll probably be here in a little bit, relaxing. Um, so we're going to go in with our steak. I'm going to add it right here. And this cooks really fast because it's thin. off to one side. I'm going to go ahead and season. So season with what you like. Usually for my Philly cheesesteaks, I like to go in with steak seasoning. So this is just an HEV Texas steak seasoning. Whatever steak seasoning you want. It's hard to keep up with me getting things done too when I'm feeling sick, but I'm a single mom of three, so I have to keep trying. Oh, I feel you. Look, I'm not a single mom, but Ray works a lot. So it's usually me and the kids all the time. Oh my god, no. I hope you feel better really soon. That's crazy. Me and Ray were talking about kidney stones the other day. I forgot why it came up, but I can't imagine having kidney stones. So, steak seasoning. This has a lot of like, oh, oh god, I'm going to drop my cup of uh, pepper in it. But we're going to go in with some garlic powder too, because I add garlic powder to everything. And then we're going to go in with a little salt. A little salt to taste. And we're going to go ahead and let this cook up. And then on this side, I'm going to go ahead and add my bell peppers. This is what I love about having my black stone. You can cook everything at once. I need a little mini trash can over here. Okay. Alright, so this side we're going to add a little bit more oil. Y'all need to get one of these. I absolutely love it because it goes with my countertop too. You wish you, oh my God, I can imagine not having an HGB. You know what? I love me some HGB, but it'd be expensive sometimes. All right, we're going to be going in with red bell pepper, green, and onion. Kind of a lot of bell pepper. I should have got smaller ones, but we'll just save it. And 
And then I usually just go in with the steam seasonings on the bell peppers. And this is a quick dinner because you can do it all at once. This is great for bell prepping. I hear you. I hear Ray over there. They've been talking, they've been saying that you're a hater. Because they were like, oh, your hair looks nice. And I was like, oh, my bangs are fake. And then they're making fun of me because you're always calling me out about my hair. Oh. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I told him whenever we go to the store and somebody compliments my hair, you're always saying it's fake. I just want to let y'all know y'all can do it too. <laughs> you can do it too. They say, say that y'all can have too. nice hair too. Y'all can do it too. Yes, the black. Yes, it is easy to clean. Um, so right here you see this little hole in the back. So all the oil usually goes like anything excess. Do I have my thing on there? I don't even know if I attached it. Any, anyways, anything like excess, like that you want to scrape off, you just scrape it back there and it has like a little holder back there that it lands in. So you just scrape anything off. It is big to, to clean, but it's, it's very easy to clean. It's just, you just have to clean this. And then usually like if anything splatters up here, you just clean the glass. But other than that, it's, it's very easy. It's not difficult at all. Yeah, I know. So we're just going to get a nice grill on this, and then once everything is tender, I like to toast my buns. I'm just having this for dinner. I'm just having me a little sandwiches. You can make a side if you were like, if you were, if you're doing just sandwiches, um, usually these just fill me up. You can do jalapeno poppers if you are just keeping it strict keto. Um, if you're doing it more low calorie, you can do some sweet potato fries. That'll be really good with them. I love me some sweet potatoes, so I like to do sweet potato fries. Mm -hmm. Are you on YouTube or TikTok? On YouTube? No, I'm still with my husband. My ring actually doesn't fit me anymore. I lost too much weight. How much was it and where did you get it? It's in my, um, I got it off of Amazon. It's actually in my Amazon storefront. If you go to my, my last video, you can go ahead and click, click my link to my Amazon storefront. And it'll take you there. Um, so you can actually buy the griddle right here that you see by itself, but you can also buy the rolling rack with it for a price. So you can either buy it separate without the rolling rack, or if you do want the rolling rack, you can buy it together. I, I think it was around two something, two-ish. It was $230. $230. $230, my husband said. $230 with the cart, but I think it's cheaper if you just get the griddle by itself. I want one. It's on Amazon. Yeah. Is well, it? You know what? We ordered it from. Yeah, we ordered it from. Um, I just see a lot of black stuff at Walmart. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I I don't, don't sure they have a store. yeah, they have a lot of black stones at Walmart, yeah, but yeah. I don't know if they have this one specifically because they have a lot of like gas ones. This one's electric, so if you just want it for the inside, this one's really good. For the inside. If you don't want anything like outside, you just want something simple for inside. This one's really good. Yeah, it is worth it. It's really nice. My husband had bought it for me because I had a big, uh, big black stone for outside. But I don't know. I just wasn't outside all the time. I just find this one more convenient for me myself because I cook a lot inside. Even though I do want to start going outside and barbecuing, like I wanted to barbecue this weekend and go do that. Um. Yeah, you can make pancakes on here. Usually, like, if I'm making a big breakfast on the weekend for my kids, it's easier to make it on this with, like, the pancakes because it's everything at once. So, if you do have a big family, it's very convenient. Yeah, a lot of the keto breads are dry, but this one is actually probably one of the, well, burger bun-wise, this one's actually probably one of the best. My husband actually likes these, and he's pretty picky. These are very soft. Of course, they're not going to be the exact same thing as like regular bread, but these are pretty good. So these are the superior keto buns. For bread wise, I personally like Sara Lee. Um, Sara Lee has a great keto bread. That one's really soft. I love that one. And then I like Sola, but I know some people are very picky with Sola because it is kind of, it does have a spongy texture. Wow. But when that's all you have, you know, it's not too bad. 
Um, but I think Sara Lee is probably one of my top favorites. The texture is just there. It doesn't have a weird aftertaste to it. Um, so I really like that one. Alright, I'm going to start mixing this all together so we can just cook. Get these peppers nice and tender. If you missed it, I was eating these candies, you guys. I stopped chewing on them because they were getting stuck to my teeth. But these are so good. So these are keto approved candies. They're by Shameless Snacks. I actually got these in my keto crate this month. And I'm not really a candy person, especially with sour. They're not too sour. They're actually really sweet. They're the red raspberry flavor. These are so good. Like, they're, they're little. They're kind of like, I guess like Sour Patch Kid inspired candies. But they're only three net carbs and 70 calories for the pouch. And they're really good. So if y'all like candies, they do have different flavors in these. When is Ray going to cook again? Whenever we can find a time because he's been working a lot. Um, so hopefully one day he can come and cook again. Right, babe? When I get back from Chicago. Yeah, Ray's going to Chicago for work. So this is a time where it's busy, busy, busy. So he don't really have time. Like right now he's here, but he literally just got home from work earlier. And he's, he's been gone since 4 in the morning. So he works a lot. So hopefully we can find a time where he can cook and burn down the kitchen, you know. <laughs> it's hilarious watching him trying to... I think the most funny part is watching him trying to cut meat. It's hilarious. Yeah, these are really good. I love these. I still remember the mozzarella sticks. It's so funny that you brought that up because not too long ago we watched that live and we were cracking up. Yeah, I worked a lot. Um, we were cracking up when we were watching that live. I was like, <laughs> I was like, look at the cheese sticks. They're like falling apart. And he was so proud of them. The picture that he took, it was like, he like wrote it to the good side. It was hilarious. We were rewatching a lot of my old videos not too long ago. It's so funny. Definitely have came a long way in my videos. I'll say that. I think this needs a little bit more salt. Do you ever just smell something and know that it needs like a little bit more salt? A little bit more garlic powder. All right, give that a few more minutes still because my bell peppers are like still a little bit too crunchy for me. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's hilarious try, uh, seeing him trying to find everything in the kitchen because he never knows where anything is. Okay, so this is the cheese I'm going in with. I have some smoked provolone. I got the circles so it's easier to fit in my sandwiches. Again, if you don't want to go in with keto buns, because like I said, some people don't like keto buns. Some people prefer not to have them. You can put this over cauliflower rice in a bowl. Or you can do white rice if you're just doing low calorie. Because I know some of y'all don't do strict keto. And you can have yourself a little Philly cheesesteak bowl. Or you can do a Philly cheesesteak salad. We actually went to, um, what's that place called? The sandwich place. Um, Jersey Mike's the other day, me and my husband. And they have a, man, they're sub in the tubs. They're really good. And they have a Philly cheesesteak one, so you can do it like over a salad if you would like to, and that's really good too. Yeah, I'm gonna put the uh, cheese on it in a minute. Um, but that's really good. So you can do like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. I've done that a couple of times. I mean, a salad. So that's another idea that you can do. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I will be back before the live ends. Yes, come back so you can see the finished results. All 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and push this to the side so it's it's done. Everything is just gonna um, stay warm. I'm gonna put the cheese on it right now. I'm gonna turn down this heat. It goes up, I think, I believe this goes up to 500. Yeah, it goes up to 500 degrees. Um, and then the lowest it gets is 200. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that warm. Let me lay it out. Let me put the cheese on it. All right, we're gonna go in with some smoked provolone cheese. Oh yeah, um, when I, I've always had clear skin, but when I did keto, it was like, you can tell the difference. It's like more glowy and just alive. So yeah, I definitely had a difference in that. Ooh, a quesadilla. Ooh, now you're giving out ideas right there. Yeah, you can get a low carb tortilla. Yeah, maybe I can make a quesadilla right now. Let's do that. I actually have some low carb tortillas. We'll do it both ways. Hold on. All right, look, I have some low carb. These are my favorite low carb tortillas. If you were to ask me, what is your favorite low carb tortilla that's like pre-packaged? They're by La Bandera. The texture is good. It doesn't have a weird aftertaste and they have so many different sizes. These are I think one of the more of their bigger sizes. I have one of their regular sizes and then they have like the little mini ones for like mini tacos. They're like zero net carbs. Um, so I'm about to make a quesadilla now too. Oh yeah, for sure. All the sugars and things like that. Um, Definitely messes with your skin. And you get so much more energy. I love tortillas on the griddle. And they come out so crunchy. Oh yeah, those are the best. <laughs> I cannot open this cheese for the life of me. Am I going to get everybody hungry? I know usually when y'all watch me live, y'all are like, you're making me hungry. These nails. I can never open cheese packets, I swear. Where's Ray? Mm. All right, I got it. All right, let's. Sorry if y'all see something flat. There's a mosquito hawk in here. These mosquito hawks have been driving me crazy. Let's put some cheese on here, and this will melt on there while we toast our buns and get our tortilla. All right. That's good for now. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the bun first and then we'll do our quesadilla since y'all gave me a great idea. Yes, I put the buns on the grill. I'm about to grill them up. I gotta have a heated bun. All right, so these are the way these buns look. Not too bad, not too, not too big, not too small, not too bad. Sometimes the uh, keto buns get a little too small. Alright, I guess we can grill up our tortilla at the same time since we have room. Huh? Okay, let me, I'm going to melt this cheese. So you can close it too, you can keep the heat in there. I'm just going to melt the cheese a little bit. <clears throat> thing about these buns you gotta let them they get toasty pretty fast oh yeah that looks good okay i'm gonna go ahead and put the philly meat in here Little bell pepper. Again, you can add like mushroom too. All right, we're gonna fold this and then get this nice and crispy. This is gonna be so good. Yeah, they're a little sometimes they're a little small, but they're a good size. They're not too bad. I think 
some of them are smaller than others. Oh, that looks so good. Can y'all see that? Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. Got our buns nice and toasted. I'm going to go ahead and put some right here. You want, you want one, babe? I'll try one. I guess well, I sounds kind of full already, but we'll <laughs> Okay, I'll eat this one. I tried to bash. He said no. I'll take you one. All right, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, but we have our sandwich, our Philly cheesesteak sandwich right here. Look at that. That looks good. See, these buns are soft. They're pretty soft. Babe, I think Shady is in there. Where? In there? Oh. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get this tortilla nice and toasty. Alright, it's almost there. Look, we got it goaded. I want a little bit more toasty while we dig into the sandwich. Still hot. Somebody said make a quesadilla. You can even make an omelet. Make yeah, an omelet. Put some eggs in there and be good. Philly cheesesteak omelet. That's something <clears> good <throat> too. For breakfast with some leftovers. Alright. I'm going to cut this in half. Our Philly cheesesteak sandwich. That's good. Hot? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. You're full up. I have to eat my food really hot. You need to burn yourself. Alright. Quesadilla is nice and toasty. We'll leave this off to the side. This wasn't part of the the dinner, but we ended up making quesadilla. Oh. You want to try quesadilla, babe? No, right now. Yeah, they're really good. Look. If y'all happen to make this dinner, I've missed you. I missed you too. How you been, Lenore? <clears throat> I didn't get to go live last week because I was sick. Like, really bad. Ray had to take care of me. I was working. <laughs> I was, well, I couldn't take care of you. I was like, do you need me to stay home? And she's like, she like she wanted me to, but I mean, also, it was overtime day, so. I was not going to work. <laughs> yeah, you know how much money I lose on an overtime with per diem? Like, no. You better be dying. <clears> oh, <throat> um, yeah, you're talking about when you first start keto? No. I got sick. I had got COVID last week. I've been good, just struggling to get the winter pounds off. Oh my god, aren't we all? Feel you on that. <clears throat> it's been like, I've been doing really good. I eat right all the time, pretty much. And I just feel like this beginning of the year, it's just been, it's already flying by. And I feel like I'm still getting out of the winter era, area. Yeah, he usually tries to take care of me. Yeah. I had never gotten COVID before, Byron. I had never gotten COVID before. Even when it first came around, came around and out of nowhere, I got it. I don't know what happened there. My my mother-in-law was like, take a test. I didn't want to because I didn't want to see if I had it or not. But I did. So it was bad. I would make chaffles. For, oh, chaffles. Ch I always say chaffles. <laughs> chaffles. I haven't made chaffles in forever. That's a really good idea. <clears throat> chaffles are good. I actually have um, 
a regular truffle recipe on here, like a Wonder Bread kind of truffle. I think Yo might be here. Wonder Bread is not. Okay, let me try this quesadilla. You guys, if my dogs start barking, I apologize. My brother-in-law might be here. And usually if somebody walks to the door, they start barking like crazy. Because they're all little doggies. All right, we made, somebody recommended to make a Philly cheesecake quesadilla. Yeah, my brother-in-law's here. All right, so we're going to dig in. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know which one I like more. I like both. Punch the bag. Oh, come on. Why didn't you tell me? What? I tried to call you to see what you were making. Oh, it was live. I didn't ask that, Sam. Mm -hmm. You made me get Burger King. And Ray got some too. Mm -hmm. Little Oh, I got five little dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love dogs. We got five of them. Five little oh, ones, though, so they just bark at everything and anything. They think they're big. No, it's big. You think they're like the quesadilla bar? Yeah, the quesadilla is really good. I mean, who doesn't like quesadillas, right? Mm. I get a double one every time I go. I put it in the fridge. I like cinnamon apple sauce, okay? Mm -mm. Jesus Christ, don't judge me. You're eating bell peppers straight off the grill. Weird. They're delicious. Then I got these. I don't know if you ever tried these, but they're delicious. Yeah, they bark at everything. I got uh, two weenie dogs, two, two miniature weenie dogs, two miniature teacup chihuahuas, and a miniature pincher. But they're, my dogs are old. They're all like little old women. Just try it. That's not what I want. Mm-hmm. The little ones that like to act like they're big. All the time. Especially the two bubbles. Yeah, I like to make a lot of stuff. Oh, you can make stuffed bell peppers. So, instead of slicing up bell pepper, if you want to make stuffed bell peppers, you can just take the whole bell pepper, stuff it with Philly cheesesteak meat, add some cheese. Hey, stop trying to tempt him. I'm saying instead of PB and J, these are less calories. I don't oh. want that. <laughs> just, just try it. I don't even mm -hmm. want PB and J. What is that? I don't know. I'm like, mm -mm. Just try a little piece. Mm -mm. It's strawberry jelly. Mm -mm. Or strawberry. Look what Dion's trying to get me to eat. A PB and J is good. <laughs> no. I don't know, like peanut butter. It's, over, all, it's like one of those little, you know, the little Mexican wafers? And the inside has You're a little back. bit of I made the Philly cheesesteak. Super good. And then we had. Half of the Philly cheesesteak on the on the keto buns. I don't know. I kind of like both, but I feel like the quesadilla is pretty good. Mm. I need a. But can you give me a tea? Let me get one. What? Give you a tea. Tea pose. Oh here. All right. I need something to drink. My favorite teas, diet, yeah. green tea, mixed berry by Lipton. Oh, oh it's cold. The best ones. I can drive here. It's not cold. This one? No. Yeah, it's so good. You need to try these. You're welcome. What? I said thank you for sharing the recipe. I'm not sure how many carbs, but I know these buns are... Three net carbs, so probably around five net carbs for the burger. Oh, and these buns. tortillas are, it depends on what size of the La Bandera tortillas you get. I think these are one of their bigger ones. So these are actually three net carbs each. So around the same, pretty much around the same carbs, even the calories. These are 60 calories. These are 70 mm -hmm. calories. So the calories might range, but they're pretty much around oh, the same. How much are these? But... How many servings? Yeah, I don't know the other Oh, the drink, zero. These are zero calories, zero carbs. It's green tea. Diet green tea mixed berry. This is good. They're best when they're cold. I can only find these at Kroger, I swear. Every time I go find them, like try to look for my HB or Walmart, they don't ever have the berry flavor. 
They always only have like the regular flavors, but well, the berry seven, one's seven, my favorite. Seven, seven, nine, seven, ten, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Seven, There's no sugar. Everything is zero. Zero sugar, zero carbs, zero calories. Make sure they're diet. Yeah. They're good. Ooh, throw fried egg on top. Everybody just coming up with ideas. Fried egg on anything like that sounds delicious. Yeah, a little burger or fried egg. That's not, that does sound good. Yeah, I, had like I haven't had a fried food. egg burger in so long. I didn't want to have to ask you. You know who had one? Pipeline for breakfast. <laughs> Sam, whenever you're done, can you put this in the fridge? Mm-hmm. Okay. How about I'll be done? Very good. I just didn't want to mess with the lighting right here. Actually, I can do it right now. Oh, yeah. Avocado. Mm -hmm. I might as well make it the omelet with it, too. Jake. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Hopefully, y'all enjoy what? this Philly. Philly recipe, very quick and easy uh, weekday dinner that y'all can go ahead and prepare. Obviously, you can do it many different ways. You can do it with a sandwich, quesadilla, omelets in a bowl, uh, stuffed it in a bell pepper. What else did y'all say? <laughs> y'all gave so many different ideas. Um, That's mine, sir. Well, that one. Okay, you can have this half. <clears throat> I'll be the judge. But y'all catch me uh, next week live on here Tuesday again. And I'll be live tomorrow on TikTok. So if y'all want to see another recipe tomorrow, y'all can go ahead and head on over there. It's usually it's under Sammy Rose. Um, Sammy Rose. Oh. Yes. So y'all can go follow me on TikTok too. And then I'll be live here next Tuesday. Every Tuesday. It used to be 7.30, but I'm changing it to 7. So y'all catch me at 7. How about that? Yeah. Change it a little know. bit earlier. If y'all do happen to make this. Y'all um, come back to this live. Y'all comment what y'all made with some Philly cheese sticks. Let me know y'all's different ideas. Y'all have a great night, everybody. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.